because I know you're gonna put this on TikTok or Facebook or whatever nonsense you get on with with your freedom stuff. But I don't have patience for it today. My freedom. You, want, you don't you have want, patience for our freedom. Eh? That's cool. You want freedom. Time changing ain't a thing. There's no regulating the cricket. And if I lay politics, pocket pick with the police, they just miss me. Hey, they always trying to start a fight, but I don't want to try to write. Time to free my cousin out the pen. Quit to dismiss all the pigs. Never like to see us win, but really, how them do you think the public is? Asking for my ID, I don't gotta show you shit. Quit the shit, you work for me, now you can be dismissed. Police always on my dick. What crime might come in? Told them I'm recording everything, answer to no questions. Back up the blue, till it happens to you. I'm subscribed to no transparency. I know how to move. Hey guys. This is True North Transparency. We are here at the CTV building in Scarborough. This is a neighborhood. You cannot park anywhere near here. Um, there is no parking. There's a church up the street. This road is called Channel 9 Road. And, and this is where we're standing right now. So what we got over here, guys, this is the CTV building. This is our, uh, this is our government funded propaganda. And we have a security guard in his guard shack right here. And what there is near here too is uh, I think ESPN is the next building over. We were just throwing on the GoPro here. We have a fella inside his guard tower. No big deal. We're not going to bother him. I hope he doesn't bother me. And so this building here, guys, is Bell Media Studios. This is the main entrance and then visitor parking it is in the front. And then cafeteria deliveries are around the backside here. What? Are you talking to me? It's I can't I can't hear you, dude. I'm sorry. This guy seems to be talking to me. So this that's the 401 just over there, guys. They have a guard tower here, a guard gate, and they have um, controlled access. You're not allowed in unless you uh, go through the guard tower, which, you know what, guys, I'm not interested. I don't care what CTV has to say. This is our government-funded propaganda. The taxpayers own this. This is, uh, I think it's taxpayer-owned, but all we do is we bail these pricks out and give them lots of money to lie to us on a regular basis. Uh, we got Mr. Guard Tower on the phone already. You see him inside there? Yep, he's on the phone, making the telephone call a shame. Uh, he did try to yell at me, and uh, that wasn't going to happen. I can't hear shit. Like I said, guys, this is McAllen Road, just off behind me here. Oh, I got a guy right here, too. Who's this fella? I have a guy standing way over here fucking staring at me. And then there's a guy in this car. And this here is McAllen Road, guys. There is a cop right up at the corner, like literally 100 meters that way. There's a cop. She is doing traffic, not traffic. She's doing um, paid duty. So that means she's getting paid to, uh, to hang out for a construction firm. It's a beautiful day today, guys. It is Monday, March 25th, 2024. Uh, I just finished watching uh, Ontario Audit's brand new video from the city of Waterloo. Amazing job, my friend. Amazing job. We're just ignoring this guy. He doesn't want to come and talk to me. He's going to be a chicken shit. You can be a chicken shit all you want. What are you doing? And get the fuck away from me. Don't ever walk up behind somebody like that and give them a shake of your head. That was ridiculous, bro. This guy just stand there right behind me, acting a fool. 
All right, guys, I'm going to pause it for a quick second. This guy wasn't just walking past me. It sort of appears that way in the video. He had stopped behind me and was trying to see my phone and was listening to what I was saying to the camera. And it threw me off. I'd noticed him hiding earlier and it, it, it rubbed me the wrong way when he did that. Now, as you'll remember from spending Sunday morning with me, the premiere I had on Sunday morning at CBC Radio, the guard had mentioned, you have been deemed a suspicious person by CTV News. This is the incident that they were talking about, where I stood peacefully out front of CTV and filmed for approximately half an hour. Um, anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. I don't like people sneaking up behind me, guys. I hate that crap. That's exactly what this guy did. So he looks like he's a journalist or something. One of the propagandists, I would be willing to imagine. I don't want anybody else walking up on me. That's ridiculous. I left a clear path on the sidewalk, as you guys can see. We're nowhere near the entrance. So that guy, that guy was hiding, hiding behind a bush. That guy was hiding behind that bush. No joke, he was hiding behind a bush. Isn't that insane? Who the hell hides behind a bush? Because there's a guy with a camera on a public street and possibly, probably works for CTV, you know? Unreal. So there, these guys do feel entitled that they're gonna control whatever. I haven't even been here for seven minutes, guys. And uh, there's a fellow coming way, way down there. There we go, we got a guy right here. It is his security. Ainsworth. I don't know, you know, um, he's here. He hasn't done anything wrong, but uh, it's hurting my butt. My butt is sore. My butt is very sore, and I want to know what this guy is up to. So here, guys. <laughs> A lot of people come down this road and just turn right around, eh? get snow into my monopod. So this is the CTV gate, guys. Oh, we got a cam back of shame here, too. <laughs> It makes people feel big and strong when they cam you back for some reason. <laughs> he's he's like call he's telling them to call somebody else. He's like this guy this guy is, uh, he hurts my butt, so there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> You've got to call somebody else for him. <laughs> the old cam back of shame. Let's get that as his, uh, hey, he learned how to hold his camera too. He gets a better picture that way.
I'm keeping my face directly behind my camera. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. All right, guys, I'd like to take a minute and remind you to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment when the video is over. And for those of you interested, right next to my name at this, the video screen is a join button that joins the members area. In the members area, you get released to content early and you get content that I've never previously released on my channel. Anyways, guys, that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. So the cam backer is gonna leave. You guys are going to get to work until pretty late, eh? I can't get you guys shots at the front of this building unless I go on the 401, but I am not. I got, <laughs> I'm not that good <laughs> with a camera. I might try to set up my dashboard camera so I can catch it. But I am not holding my camera and taking pictures of the front of this building. You know what I'll do? I'll get it off of Google Earth. That's what I'll do, guys. All right, so here you have the front of the building. I'm on Google Earth. And it faces the 401, which you'll see in a second. I'm just going to zoom out. So that's a 16-lane highway. There's eight lanes in each direction here. and it's one of the busiest highways in Canada. It is the busiest highway in Canada. It actually ranks as one of the busiest in North America. And uh, I'm going to go around the side of the building and I'll show you where I was standing, which is right by this guard tower here. And there's a little roundabout where that white car was sitting. I'm pretty sure he's security. And the guy was hiding behind the bushes at that roundabout too. And then I'll show you guys some of the stuff they... They always think we can never see. They want to keep us out and they want to control our cameras. But meanwhile, they don't realize that there's pictures available of everything online. So guys, this is True North Transparency. We are at CTV. Canadian Propagandist Corporation. <laughs> uh, Canada's least trusted television network, funded by the taxpayer. The only thing they report on is what they're allowed to report on by Justin Trudeau. And, and the terrible, the dictators, the Fuhrers of the country, like Christian Freeland, the Nazi. And guys, I'm not just saying she's a Nazi. There was a news story that Christian Freeland, I think it was her grandfather, was a Nazi sympathizer or just a flat out Nazi. And when she was asked about it, she refused to comment. And um, yeah, these are the people that lead this country, guys. They're driving it right into the ground. They hate the people. They hate the citizenry. But that's what they want to do. They want to destroy us and they're using outlets like CTV to reach the older crowds because the older crowds are, um, they're still susceptible to CTV as, uh, as their news source or trusted news source. Same as uh, people that, that watch CNN. Um, they just haven't learned yet. They haven't learned that everything that these guys do she waved. Hello. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> that was nice of her. Um, but yeah, guys. Other than their terrible broadcasting practices and um, propagandist-like statements that they make on their station 
and uh, and all that sort of jazz. They have passed. They did pass. So we're gonna get out of here in a couple of minutes. We we'll just get a couple more vehicles through, and that will be that. We'll get this last one coming out. I'm not going in the property. Um, I just wanted to say, you didn't call the police? Am I waiting for cops to show up or no? That is, uh... Yeah? Okay, I'll wait. If you did, I don't want to run away from them. I was going to say, have a good day, but if you called them, I'll wait. You, you can be truthful with me, man. It's no big deal. Are you on your way? Did you call them? Is... You did, right? Did you? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Huh. Interesting. And this guy's listening to my conversation over here. <laughs> I wonder why it's so hard for people just to say, hey, yeah, we called the cops, man. Like, we've been here for 25 minutes. There was a huge commotion the second I walked up. So I figured something's going on. And we'll see what's happening. And we'll see what this guy's doing here. All right, guys. Spoiler alert. The police don't show up. I stuck around for another 15 minutes after the guy told me they were coming. They never showed up. It's about a 10 minute walk out of this joint. So I went and got the license plate numbers of the white car. Uh, the security guard, he didn't even open his window again. And we walked out past the police that were up the road directing traffic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment at the end. See you later, guys.